And welcome to some Be Open at Texas, New Texas. I am the number two here today. And I've got myself a setup from OSR as usual. It's a very loose setup. So I am expecting probably not to have the greatest hot lap time here. I'll do my best to see what I can do. But I'm thinking it's going to be more of a long run thing. Hopefully get on that right rear and, you know, get some laps in. Although we do have some cloud cover, it looks like, now that I've got, we've gotten into the session. I'm wondering if that's going to lower the track temp a bit. Still felt kind of loose through three and four there, getting up to uh, speed there, so... track still feels pretty loose to me, or at least my setup does, despite the clouds. I'll go ahead and take a peek at what the actual track temp is here in a minute. I'll get two sideways. Oh wow, this is going terribly. <laughs> like I said, this uh, setup I think is going to be better long run. Not thinking I have very much Q speed, but I'm actually pretty happy with how it's feeling. I think it'll be a nice setup to have. I think I can do better this lap too, so. I think that's gonna be a little bit better. 3104 to a 29.954. So, yeah, not that great. My best is a 29.7, which would have put me a couple spots up higher. We're in it for the long run this race. Going to be on that right rear. And hopefully making some passes as the race goes on. Hopefully we get lots of green running. No, uh, Not too many cautions or anything. It is a late night race. Probably single split, if I guess. So maybe we won't get... I mean, it's, it's kind of like... Uh, you know, you get a single split, you've got, you know, some drivers who have, are having more trouble, but it, uh, on the other side of it, you've got a lot of space sometimes between guys of all different speeds, and so things can get spread out, and then you can get some green running, so it really depends. I'm going to go ahead and give a green flag pit stop a try. So I have that, as much experience with that as possible. Currently breaking, not at the first Texas there, but at the beginning of the second Texas. Ooh, got sideways there, that was not good. Watch your speed. Maybe I'll break a little bit sooner then. I think the tires are still a little bit cold, so. Apparently I slowed it down enough. I thought I was for sure getting black flag there, but saying I'm okay, <laughs> so. Now I'm perfect, what you talking about? That was a really fast entry. Nah, I'm, not, I'm definitely not gonna be pushing it that hard. So you can see, looks like the rear is, at least at the start, we're getting more worn. Temperatures though are higher up here, so it'll even out over time, I bet. I think the, the car should be good, long run. And hey, I, I'm not dropping all that much. I thought I did much worse than that. Still P6, and we got a nice, uh, Plenty of people behind us. I recognize Randy Johnson there. He was in a previous race. I think he was in a previous truck race I was in. I don't know him or anything. I just recognize the name because it's a very memorable name for obvious reasons. <laughs> and uh, we're getting ready to go already. Your engine temperatures are looking better nice. Now. All right, so making sure I've got everything the way I want it. I think I'm actually going to move the brake bias up because I don't think I'm going to be using it much during the race, but I will be using it to get on pit road, so don't need to be spinning out trying to get on pit road, so I'll just put it to 64. And even if I start needing to use it, that'll be fine. The only time I'd start using it is late in a run, car's getting tight. 
and I don't even think you'd need to use too much. So we'll have session last lap ready to go. The number one behind me has got a 7,000 I rating, so that's interesting. He's in ninth, starting ninth, but I expect him to find his way to the front with a 7K I rating. Love having race labs here, because I can also see that he's maybe not likely to be someone that's going to plow through people, because he's got an A 4.9 as well, so even though he's fast, maybe he's not someone that's just going to plow through people to get up there. Could be wrong. Gerbil. Okay, I could be wrong, but, uh, you know, evidence says that he's most likely clean, so. Good information to have here. We got a 2,000 strength of field. Makes sense. Kind of decent for a single split race. I bet that 7K is doing a lot of heavy lifting for that strength of field. And then, uh, of course, I'm the number two, so. I'm helping that out a little bit with my 4.8, I suppose. But we've got some fast guys in here, so. Have a good ride. The air is oh, there's a 900 I rating guy who qualified ahead of the 7K. That's curious. Might have to be careful off the start here, because we might have some guys just absolutely going for it from the start. Not too concerned about tire saving. And uh, I obviously plan to, to have long run speed, 12. so I am gonna have to let them by if they I, plan know, on driving. I'm trying to make up for the fact I ran a open and grenaded the engine on a restart because I went the wrong way on the ship. I've done it. Close. Mid road is closed. Get south 12. Dark. We'll be on the outside here. I'm okay with that. Lots of room on this track, so. That'll be nice. If things start getting ugly, I can hopefully avoid it. It's just, it's different to me, Brandon. In a real life car, you push it forward to go up again. And I set it up like NASCAR real life, and I done the whole race fine, and then somebody told me to go, and I took it the wrong way. And if this guy has real life experience, that's interesting. He's talking about how you know, real life, it's different. I know, but I don't want to get bad enough from memory. I'm not familiar with the name. I was in practice with Garrett Smithley. That was kind of cool. He didn't show up to the race, unfortunately, but I was practicing I mean, I and I was it next to him on track for a bit. He's not an infrequent sight here. Well, we're about ready to go. Okay, Alright. Get a nice start. Get a little bit of the Xfinity Wiggles. Oh, there's a guy down there. Let me pay attention. Oh, uh, P2 is spinning. Okay, then. I'm sorry here about that. I don't really want to be this aggressive, but I'm just driving. Stay low, doing the car on the high side. Keep low. You're now in third. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Well, I didn't expect to be in second already. I'm not pushing at all. Five's got himself a nice little gap there, and we are pulling away somehow. The leader has just done a 30.3. Not the two, the running second, 30.2. And the guy behind has just done a 30.4. Like taking a really low exit here at Texas. It seems just to work for me, getting near that white line, and you get a lot of turn. Plus, this setup being loose. Makes me feel more comfortable, kind of going for it, because it'll just still be on the right rear pretty well. So everything feels pretty good. Yeah, it's getting a lot, a lot of good rotation. I'm not really even turning the wheel to get it turning like that. Feeling pretty good. I love Texas. I know everybody hates it. I love it. <laughs> In real life, I get it. Racing isn't very exhilarating, but I love driving it. 
believe me, I celebrated when I heard North Wilkesboro is going to be the all-star race next year instead of Texas. Like, I get, I get the hate for Texas, especially as a viewer, but I love to drive it. Very big fan of driving this track, so... Hopefully we'll get some green running here on this cloudy day. Let's see what we got for this leader. I feel like I'm barely turning the wheel. Feels good. Of course, we got some guys that are obviously very fast. That are deeper in the field. So I'm sure as this race goes on, they'll start making their way forward. We're going to have more company up here, I bet. So far, kind of uh, keeping a one second gap to the leader there, and then we are actually pulling away behind us. So all of that is good information. I like to hear all of that. I, uh, <laughs> I was not really planning to make all those passes right at the start. I don't know how I ended up like in second so soon. There were guys just being really delicate, I guess, on the cold tires, and I felt comfortable enough to go. I, it's really not in my DNA to want to be that aggressive. I don't really like being that guy, but, you know, I'm, I'm just, I was just running like my line. I didn't feel like I was being aggressive. I feel like I was just driving like I normally would. And uh, we were going faster than they were. <laughs> so I hope I didn't do anything too aggressive and maybe rubbed anyone the wrong way. Felt like I uh, held held my uh, lines and stuff pretty well, at least. Hopefully. But as mentioned, I just got myself an OSR set up in this thing, and uh, I like how it feels. It feels pretty loose, and uh, loose is good. Loose is fast. And I'm hoping it'll be fast long run too. We got some guys already appearing on our relative. It sounds like there might have been some interesting, messy things going on back there. I don't know exactly what might have happened, but we could have had guys lose a lot of space without actually having a caution come out. So that'll be interesting if we happen to catch them. Hopefully they will give us the bottom. This is pretty one lane here. Obviously that's a big downside to Texas. I will admit that. It's very one lane. Be great if you could run a, at least like the middle or something. Or the high line. You know I love the high line. It's feeling a little bit tighter, but... Nothing I can't handle, and I think this loose setup is helping mitigate that. It's looking like the leader might be falling off more than we are, though. Maybe they just had a bad lap or something. No. I feel like I'm doing okay uh, in terms of keeping the car happy. Driving it like I feel I need to. And uh, gaining a little bit on the guy head. Can't complain about that. I can complain about the frames dropping a little bit. <laughs> but nothing too bad. I might have to cap the frames like a little bit lower. I have it capped at 90 right now. I think I might have to cap it a little bit lower so it stops being so stuttery sometimes. We've got his draft ahead, that's very nice. It's not going to make a huge effect, but it certainly doesn't hurt. Definitely 
Don't push out and hit the wall. That would be bad for business. You've just done a 31.0. Wide on exit there. Kind of pushed it a little bit there, I think. Oh, yeah, we're catching now. He's getting tight. Nope, don't hit the apron. I was trying to get a good angle on him on the corner, on the exit of the corner, maybe. Keep it low on the track, but uh, <laughs> it took it a little too far. Stop hitting the apron. Just barely touching the apron. It's just being yeah, about to kind of mess up the back. corner. So. No apron this time. There you go. Didn't even really feel, seem to affect my speed all that much, though, to be honest. How was that A race until then, Kyle? What'd you say? I'm trying to stay out in front of this thing. Oh, that guy looked like he was about to go and get the wall. Oh, I didn't blow up. I still finished 11th of the hundred angles. But I was on second off. behind co driver Joe from Breaks a little bit, make sure I can keep it down here. Hopefully we'll make quick work of them. Alright, new leader. For now. <laughs> we'll see how uh, long it's how long it lasts. If I'm maybe overdriving or something. Okay, you are the leader. Sir, make sure I'm not getting on the gas too early, so that way I am getting a good runoff. I think I should be able to pull away a little bit now that I am ahead of the guy. A little tighter than I would like in three and four. Maybe I could back this thing down just a tiny bit. Just to give it a tiny bit of brakes on entry to one. I underdrove that though. Go a little bit harder than that. <laughs> Focus on keeping it down by the white line. Not overdriving it and getting on the right front or anything. We should be able to pull away from him here. There we go. Don't quite underdrive at that time. No need to even push all that hard because we uh, have better tires than the guy directly behind us. And we got a two second gap to the next guy who's back there. So there's no reason to real push, real, like push all that hard right now. I think I'm in a really good spot. It even looks like third and fourth are potentially fighting back there, given how close they appear to be. So I will enter manage mode. Manage the tires. Keep a consistent speed. And I think I'm feeling good. I see smoke. Why? Why there be smoke? Some of the pits, maybe. It's interesting. I'd love for this thing to go green. So those guys don't mind. Thank you. 
I think a caution would be really bad for me because you can see, for example, the number one car has made his way forward. And uh, if we get on equal tires and they have track position, I don't know if I have anything for them. So I think my best shot at getting a win this race, dare I say, is if this thing goes green all the way through. And of course I don't do something stupid with green flag pit stops. <laughs> yeah, guys like already pitting, that's really strange. I don't know if they had like damage and they just needed to come in, but it's obviously way early for that. I don't mind a little bit of draft though, if they are going to be ahead of me. I think they might pull away if they're on better tires, though. Time was and like I said, draft's not a huge thing. He's not going away behind me, though. He's obviously still there. Maybe he'll uh, get his tires back up and maybe he'll just be faster than me. I'm not sure. Because I was pulling away and I'm not so much anymore. Keep an eye on that. The lap time was at 31.6. Ooh, that was good. That felt really good. That was really uh, right on that white yeah, line. I'm going harder than I should be here. I'm trying to catch them. Got me some great rotation. That still feels pretty good. Got a little bit tighter, but it's not losing me too much time. Gotta imagine tires are gonna fall off to some degree no matter what. As long as we uh, keep it under control. Don't let it get out of hand. I think I should be okay. Hopefully that car will be nice to me. It's not looking like it. It's looking like he's right on my line. Why are you protecting the bottom? I don't know what he's doing. Car outside. Outside he's Strange. Clear. That obviously hurt my corner. So. I don't know. It's such a wide track. I don't know why he wouldn't be anywhere else but the racing line when the leader's coming, but that's fine. I could have handled it better too, I was just a little bit afraid. The gap behind is now 0.8. Man, did I really lose that much time? <laughs> Last lap, I didn't feel like I lost that much. Pass right, why? Why? Why pass right? Why would you pass right here? Have we not established this is a single groove track? And it is not a groove to the right? <laughs> oh well. Single split. I just don't know better, I guess. It's funny though. Pass right. <laughs> Looks like the guy behind had some trouble maybe getting around him as well. Dang, it just feels like this car's getting better. I had a feeling it was going to be a long run setup. That's feeling pretty good right now. You've just done a 31.7. It's a real good turn on throttle. Just what I need. And we've got a second gap behind us. It's still 3 plus to third and fourth. Just making sure that I am ahead of the curve here when it comes to what the tires are willing to give me. So that way at no point am I overdriving a corner and just lighting them up, putting a bunch of heat into the right front or something. Kind of just 
driving a little bit less than what I can probably get away with, so that way I'm never surprised. If that makes any sense. Makes sense in my head. That's <laughs> me just trying to communicate my thought process. I'm going to see what the gaps are looking like when we get to about lap 45. If they're catching, I'm going to hit right at halfway. If they are still kind of falling, then I might go a little bit longer just in case. Excuse me. In case we get uh, a caution. Maybe I'll uh, take a look at when they decide to go and then go the lap after. Of course, uh, getting caught out because of caution would be very bad. Five's coming back again, maybe. Every time I think I'm getting away from him, he kind of starts coming back a little bit again. They're all kind of just uh, maintaining back there. Which I guess is what I need to be doing anyway. A little loose on exit there. I'll take it. Oh, guy ahead is pitting in. Oh no. Affect my corner. Okay, had to be careful there, and I'm gonna lose a bunch of time. One tenth. Do we get? Do we hear two tenths? Probably by the time we get to the first corner. Not great there, but at least you let me know, so I wasn't surprised. Counter steer, counter steer. Don't let it get too loose on exit. Like I said, coming in halfway, lap 45, or later. No reason to come in any sooner than that. Unless everybody behind me pits. Or something. In that case, then I would probably... I missed my mark there. Then in that case, I would probably uh, come in. If everybody behind me has already pit. I have to hit my mark better next lap. Turns one into a lost some time. We could get cautions from guys just trying to hit pit lane, though. That's always a concern. Green flag pit stops. Guys uh, finding a way to loop it or something. We've got uh, a little bit of a scary situation ahead. We've got guys on the same lap as lap cars who are going to be fighting. Probably less willing to give me room. So that's a bit scary. Let's see what happens when we get up to them. Time was at 31.8. Down by the white line where I like it. There you go. Counter steer feels good. Straight away wiggles in the Xfinity car. Still nothing compared to uh, the old cup car. Car of tomorrow that we raced and Gavin's hosted. Alrighty then. Probably didn't need to make it that close. So we will get the bottom here. He looks like he's protecting the bottom. Why? <sighs> okay. It's gonna block. The car outside. Such a big track. I think you can move out the way, but pretty long. I assume he just didn't know that I was going to catch up that fast. It can be tough to tell when you're just looking in your mirror. You don't know when someone's going to catch up to you. I understand. 
Such a cloudy day here in Texas. I don't know, I kind of like cloudy days, though. I'm kind of like one of those people that likes the rainy days. I don't know, I'm a weirdo, I guess. <laughs> I like the cloudy rainy days. Maybe I should live in Seattle or something. Approaching halfway. I'm still gaining, I think. It's the guy's behind. Good corner there, too. Compared to last lap, anyway. We'll stay out a little longer and keep an eye on when other guys are pitting. Shout out to the setup though. OSR, really, they got it pretty good this week, I think. I did pick the, uh, the f second in the list, so the one that was uploaded before the second one. Uh, what was the guy's name? They list the guy's name who uploaded it to OSR2. If I remember, I'll say it at the end once we get out of the car. I'm say it was like Dan something, maybe. But uh, even if I forget to say it, it'll show it on the top right when I get out of the car later. I might pit soon, just because I'm coming up on a lot of lap traffic. Outside. Outside is clear. Thanks for the room four. No problem, buddy. He was real nice to me, so give him a little shout I out. I thought this was a fixed race setup. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is it the iRacing Weekly Race? 90 laps? Oh, no, it wasn't. <laughs> Please don't go low. I wasn't sure what he was planning on doing there. He's look, looking a bit squirrely, so... Oops. Got some guys that pit already that are back there and that are probably pretty fast, so it might be time for me to come in soon. 18 cars putting the farm. Teens pitting ahead. Well done by him. It's like a nice pit entry. I gotta make sure I hit my pit entry and don't throw this thing away. Since I'm gonna be tossing these tires here soon in a minute, I'm gonna probably drive a little bit harder. I'm pitting, pitting, pitting. It's time to come in. Of course, I'm pitting, I'm pitting. Okay, good stop. I'm happy with that. Maybe a little delicate, but we're fine. They all got the leader is pitting message. Are you kidding me? Oh, what's this gonna do? 39.53, no way. You kidding? This thing felt great. 39.53. Huh. Weird. Okay, punch it. I have no idea how this is gonna play out since I was in the pits while the yellow came out. Line up, single file. Close, pit road is closed. Oh, guys, let's get space car. Yeah, if we don't catch space car, people are gonna pit and be ahead of us. Yeah, come on, 21. Go. Half past 10, stop.
22 is telling me to pass. This is weird. You guys gotta go, man. Y'all can talk to me later. I'm not letting the ladies pit and get ahead of me. You just pit, man. You're good. Car 11. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. <laughs> what is this gonna look like? Sorry, Dave. I'm still in first, I guess? Are you all good? Weird. I think just about everyone had pit by the time that I came in. This is not what I needed though, because... Like I said, we get a yellow, we got some of the really fast guys on fresh tires close up to us with track position. I don't know if I'm going to be able to win this thing anymore. But I don't know what their situation is with all these... Pete Road is now open, it's open. <laughs> with, with how weird that was. The timing of that yellow. They're only 53. I can't believe that. Look at my left rear, though. 82 compared to 91 on the left front. That's a really strange tire wear <laughs> set right there. That oh, That's strange. It felt good, though. It felt just fine. Obviously, it had speed, so... Hey, if, it's, uh, if it works... So we got guys that are going to get a wave around ahead. The five's still behind me. The three has got the track position. The one's got track position. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be out in front by the end of this one again. Because, you know, the one probably had to burn his tires up passing people as he made his way through the field. Now he doesn't have to do that. So... Did not want to caution there, especially after I had just felt like I got a good green stop, and then the yellow comes out. I'm sure it was related to someone pitting. But we're good on fuel and tires now. It's going to be going to the end. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll get tires later if we need to. But At least we'll be able to choose when we get our jump at the start here. Hopefully we get a good one. Let's see how this turns out. My chances have uh, significantly dropped though. With that yellow. So there they go. Wave around cars. Twenty one doesn't know what he's doing anything. Stay behind lapping. I think it's telling everybody to want to come in and drive on. Come on, eighteen. It told me to pass the pace car, I don't know what's going on. Go 20, go! We gotta, we gotta pass the pace car, go! Somebody delay the green. Somebody just stop and delay the green. I don't know what's going on. It told me to pass the pace car. I guess I'm gonna listen. I don't know. I don't wanna get a black flag. Yeah, yeah, pass the pace car. Y'all stayed out and leave everybody else pitted. Catch up to the back of the field! Somebody just stop and delay the green. If we don't delay the green. Hang on, we're not going green. What is going on? Telling everybody to pass the pace car. Apologies, I don't I didn't know what I was doing there. I've never seen something quite like that. It's like a weird glitch sometimes. It's weird. Where's the pin?
I'm on the way. What's going on, David? How come we got the way around? One to go. Next time by. Let the board yeah, let's go. Billy, Billy, what's he telling you? No idea. That was weird. Yeah, well, I was calling you. I don't know what, <laughs> what, what, what we were. What is happening? And we're still stuck behind that damn black course. Half eleven, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Check it up in one, check it up in one. Half eleven, car. Yeah, he's gonna have to give us a wave around. Alright, who's the left up? I was a left dog, and now I'm gonna be back to lap down, so I'm calling everybody to pass. This is all screwed up. I was saying! Yep, stuck. Happens every once in a while. What are you doing, I racing? I guess we're in a single file restart. Because the two should just never pass the pace car. So just stay behind the pace car when the lap car is ahead of him and went around. Didn't matter what it said, he should have just stayed there. Randy, he can't do that. If he does that, then the green flag is going to come out and like the middle of the back stretch. About to yep, go green. I think I'm like what is going on? <laughs> go, 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 19, go, 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 you the leader, go, go, go. Be ready. Wow. Green, 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 let's go. This is a straight up rookie, rookie player. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? I'm glad you got a brain, Brandon. Clear up the top. Yeah, I was thinking, wait, Can this guy not be blocking the bottom? Keep blood. Clear outside. I'm sorry if there's anything I could have done better there. I've never seen anything quite like that. Whoever that was hit and thank you. I mean, I think it was back to the field. That was at 52.1. That was weird. Oh, that looks good. Hey, yo. You might get in the pit. Did get a wave around, start in front of you guys, and I'm going to why it started in front of you guys. <laughs> I don't know what to think right now. Like, obviously, I, I guess that was good for me, because there's a lot of distance behind all of a sudden. happening. <sighs> now I'm going to feel like this, if I do end up winning this thing, I'm going to feel like it was tainted <laughs> because of the ugliness that just happened. At least I didn't get a black flag. That's the fastest lap. Truly bizarre. Not a fan. You know what it is? It's this like overcast, scary looking day. This race is haunted again. We got another haunted race, just like freaking Myrtle Beach in the league race. The ghosts are back. The dang ghosts, man. We're quickest right now. You've just done a 30.1. Someone get the Ghostbusters. Well, I guess, uh, I mean, I'm going a little bit harder this time since we have fewer laps to do. I, I probably should just back it down, though, because we got so much time. Andy Johnson not happy, I imagine. He didn't get the wave around that he earned. That sucks. I hate that that happened. When you start going this oh, that's a blown engine. That guy blew his engine. Is he going to be able to keep it on the apron? Is he going to make it to the pits again? Or is he going to bring out a yellow because he can't get it back there? That's going to be curious. 
Y'all check me short and I'll stay low. I got ass back. I'm running into each other. Apparently. I think the track is cooled down. It feels like you can push a little bit harder here. There's more grip. Is that going to make the car tighter, though? Maybe I should back this down a little bit more. Compared to the first run. It really looks like it's about to storm. Approaching 16. He'll uh, go high for me when the time I'll comes. Take out. I'll take out. Outside. Outside. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Oh. Same thing, Kenny. I'll stay high for you. Yeah, lots more grip on the track, but I'm afraid that's going to make the car tighter. That's tight. hard, that, bud. You can't just keep throwing it in when you don't have a whole lot to throw it in. Maybe I should take three and four a little softer too, if I'm going to be taking the corner softer. Normally it feels like I can get on the right rear pretty easily through three and four, but it is feeling a little bit tighter, so a little bit easier. Oh, ugly corner. What am I doing? I took it too slow and I hit the apron. That's not going to be good for me. And then I almost <laughs> wiggle into the wall. Keep it together now. Don't let the ghosts possess me into making bad racing moves. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, but it sure as hell ain't driving. One is having issues with somebody. I get it. I gotta get it together here because that five is catching up. The yellow flag is out. Line up, single file. Closed. Pit road is closed. Case start. Twenty one. Gotta take tires here. I think we've got enough laps. It's closed. Well, thanks a lot, Jonathan. I don't know what your deal is, man. But you'll get a vacation for that one. Did the one get wrecked? What was it yellow for? Somebody just got phone. Yeah, you just been tearing me because you can't fucking drive. You kept trying to turn me down the front stretch, and then you, you, you cut down on me in the corner, and you full throttled me in turn one until you turn me around. Check it up in three. Gotta take tires. Come on, lady. Cut the place go. There was no need for that, Johnson. No need. I mean, I get it. Your car's seven. You've never seen the front of the field. Uh, tempers are flaring, boys. Look out for the pit speed limit. Your engine temperatures are okay. All clear on engine temperatures. You've got plenty of I imagine we got people staying out. Pit box team, 10. Five, I'd rather be on the three, offensive though. Two, one, right here. 92-94. I think I'm gonna be glad that I pit. A lot of people stayed out though. That's it. Go. Out in uh, front of that group that pit pretty easily at least. Why do you drive like a dumbass and wreck somebody? I wasn't doing anything. You couldn't pass me except for turning. Be ahead of some of these lap guys at least. Come on, guys, come off pit road, catch pace car, I got the pit. Who we got staying at? Nobody. Oh, okay. These are all lap guys. 
Ten four. All right, that's that makes me feel a little better. I don't think there's gonna be much saving going on to the to the end anymore, though. Still get another set of tires too. All right. Sure, they're actually pitting before I start putting the gas. So, lots of them pitting there, but other guys taking the wave around. Everyone taking their gas if we're going to get another caution, I guess. Or not. If you didn't get a black flag, so. Hopefully race control has sobered up here and we can have a normal start. Right. Ah, <laughs> uh, we can only go. green. Now it will be. Yeah, we're two to green. It's two to green, be one to green, we'll get back to the line. Thank you. I'll get my repairs. Oh, I hope it doesn't tell me to pass the pace car again. Stay behind the 24. That's a good time. We can double power. Whew. Stop for a second. <laughs> Seems like we're good. Take it Take it Take it it's a first gear start. Hey, Brandon is coming. That truck race, that sucked. Well, I don't have very good short run speed. Better than that truck race, that sucked. So this might not be good for me. Yeah, yeah, too cool. You saw how I qualified. So I gotta hope that uh, I can keep it up here. You get a bunch of damage, Kyle? Are you good or what? I don't know. I'll probably have more damage in about four laps. Your car looks pretty clean. No more wrecking, please. Get just get to the end, Murray. You ain't got no front damage or left side damage. Seven starts in front of me. He's done pretty good. Be ready. Green, 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 green. Very happy with that start. This game was good. Um, Aggressive goes around. No, just kidding. You got it. <laughs> Tire's gonna be cold, so keep it under control. Like I said, I don't know how much saving we necessarily need to do here anymore. A little bit. Certainly not all that much. Hopefully it doesn't bite me, but... Get him, gear! Yeah, let's fuck keep ramming me with all that, it'll be in the wall. They need to uh, squash their beef, because I don't want to have any more cautions. They seem like they're all mad at each other or something. The guy behind is just He's done a point nine. Yeah. No! Go. Nothing is allowed to happen! Let me race to the end! Please! Kind of the best I suppose, Father. 
think so it's really my fucking way. Can I just restate, like, this setup's good. <laughs> I accidentally killed my I'm very happy with this setup. Oh, so I got it this week. At least this one that I grabbed. Very happy with it. I'm usually pretty decent at Texas anyway, but setup is definitely not holding me back. I don't feel it. Oh, oh guys. I'm on the outside and you come up at the last minute, dude. Come up, I'm loose! Kind of there was a whack right? down car in front of us, dude. There was no use to like pressuring right there. Mm, I can't pit now, can I? Man, this has put me in a bad spot. These cautions are gonna kill my race. Clear that I'm not pitting, so that way they can take advantage of me, I guess. So. No, don't do it. I hate you people. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, why, why did you just hit me? Oh, it's awesome, man. He literally says to go on the inside, let the lucky dog pass. What are you doing blocking the high side? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and clip that and save it and then review it tomorrow. I, I don't know what to tell you, but that was a bad choice. Yeah, this race is haunted. Fucking go low if there's a lucky dog, which there's going to be. Stay fucking low. The game tells you to do it anyways. So, so you you didn't see the car in front of you, to where you left, and then say, hey, go low or go high or anything like that. You just that's what you do. You just drive up and hit them. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. Tell driver etiquette, dude. Whenever talking comes out, all I'm gonna lose this race now. Everybody pit. Ding, ding, bring ding. the lightning tires around me. Listen, if I'm on the outside by the wall, ding, 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 ding. Hey, do you see me or anything like that? Do you, do you see my car? That, you guys are hacks, man. That's a hack move. No, it's not hack. It's just you need to learn something about race etiquette. <laughs> race etiquette? I need to learn something about race etiquette. Me? Race etiquette. <laughs> Reminds Can me of that race Gavin had. If you come to Ohio where I live, I can give you my address. You come up here and teach me some uh, race etiquette. How about that? <laughs> this is more sad. More sad. This is giving him his address. All we gotta do is meet the hot dog stand. That's where we gotta meet. Hot dog stand. I, I know where the hot dog stand is. What's happening? Hot dog stand. 21, you need to go to the back. <laughs> I'm sure you did know where the hot dog stand is. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, of course, you just give me the map. Single split races are great sometimes. That's, that's probably where you stand at your local track. Right by the hot dog stand. As soon as they fucking put the first wieners on there, you're probably like, let me have the first wiener. 21, you're making yourself look like a fucking idiot. Just shut up, dude. We're under caution. Pits are closed. Screw you, Justin. Screw you. <laughs> For the hot dog? Let me talk my check. It's my check. What's wrong with the wiener, dude? I can only hope they're still doing this whenever the green comes out, so I can get a good job. Probably, probably the pork wiener. It tastes good with uh, mustard and ketchup. 
I prefer just mustard on my hot dog, to be honest. Oh, no. Not too big on, like, the ketchup on the hot dog. I'll do mustard, though. I do like a, a big, like a loaded hot dog though, with like all with all the stuff on it, like relish and all that stuff. Like if you just put a bunch of stuff on it. There used to be a guy, a local, like hot dog stand guy. They called him the hot dog man. He had the world's largest hot dog cart in the town I went to school in. <laughs> and he made like Wait, these, cra these crazy these crazy hot dogs. Like, there was a pizza road. hot dog, yeah. and there was like a macaroni and cheese hot dog, and then like sauerkraut with like. I don't even know. He had like a Number million different kinds and he would like load them up. Wheel damage it's and super good. Damage now, so. well, well, I've, I've been having fun the whole night, so now I'm just getting ready to just go buy all you guys to just move over for me. What? What's he gonna do? I'm scared. Is he eating? You driving through everybody? I hope not. Oh boy. Get ready, going green. These guys are trying to get a jump on me behind. The ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. I can only hope that the couple of guys that stayed out are gonna Head hold to go. them back a little on. bit. I'm so scared of those fresh tires back there, though. Okay. I think we might be okay. I hope. We gotta get this race done, though, because there's gonna be a thunderstorm. It's getting darker and darker. Fives on fresh tires is about a second back. Oh boy. Damn it, Brandon, I just got no power off the corner and killed it. The last lap time was at 29.8. The guy behind has just done a 20.0. Here my line, that's all I can do. Oh, the five. He is now in second. Oh, darn you and your fresh tires. The gap behind is now 0.8. Stay back there. Oh, he's gaining. Car is getting tight. I'm feeling the effects on the older tires. It's not good. Wrecking, wrecking, wrecking. No, not wrecking. It'll be even worse if they start wrecking again. I just, I just got booted. You booted me. I'm so sorry, sorry. Twain, I'm just having a very sad race. You fucking, you fucking booted me. You pull back up in traffic, dude. Please no, don't wreck. I am doomed that. if they bring in another caution. Way before that, I would have never been in your path. You didn't never no, seen my, uh, uh air. I'm you're talking about me, Dad. Come on, get this thing to the I'm end. A, I don't know if I'm I can hold him off, but I got it. This is my only up. chance here. I'm 280 on water. I don't know how it hasn't blown up yet. That sucks. Oh, he's coming. No, he's gonna catch me. There's no way. I blew up, I blew up. He blew up, oh god.
Darn you and your fresh tires, five. Clear inside, sir. Inside. Six. Still there, hold your line. Clear. This sucks. Caution's coming out at the wrong times for me, man. I just, I can't compete with that. You know the bad part, Brandon? My water tank was red, but when it blew up, it wasn't. That's usually what gets me in my way. Try hanging there for a second. You just got the white flag. That means one more lap to go. Last lap, looking good for a podium. That lap time was 30.9. I mean, there's just nothing I can do. If he's got fresher tires, right, like I get my best. Good race, good win. Nice race, Colton. Great drive. That's a podium. There's the flag. It's over. <laughs> oh, I'm sad, but that's okay. P2. The setup finishes in tenth, baby. <laughs> hey, I, I finished this race. Kyle Brummett finished this race. That's a win in itself. <laughs> this was a weird one. A little bit haunted. Some spooky fresh tires came and passed me. But I still got P2, so I guess that's okay. Man. 90 93. It's not that they, were, they weren't torched or anything by any means but thank you thank you <sighs> sounds like the seven was a problem i've been hearing a lot of complaining about him i guess we'll see what happened real good for a fast race nice to have it here sometimes the strategy just doesn't go your way sometimes you just end up in a bad Spot. That's all right. I couldn't risk being the only guy that paid either. Like if I come in, then no one else does. Then I get stuck all the way back there. Who knows what position I get? So we've got lap three. The twenty one's gonna come up and hit the wall. Oh, just barely. Let's pretend wall. He didn't actually hit the wall. They're still arguing. Oh, we've got the 7K using that <laughs> as a uh, ammo for the fight there. One in the wall. Two and four in the wall. Number four on his fixed setup. Oh, wow, everyone's gone. I was thinking about just the, since we had some people that were, uh... Is that a four in here? No, if he was still in here, I was gonna say, like, hey, I got, like, a free setup that's pretty decent. But... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just distracted by what's going on down here. Uh, 12 in the world, wall hard. Got lots of guys getting in the wall as the car gets tighter, I guess. Not much other than wall hits happening uh, first part of this race, though. More wall boops. We're going to skip past these a little bit faster. 
when it's clear that guys are uh, not near anybody. Oh, some straightaway wiggles from the Xfinity. A little bit more right here, maybe. Really? Oh, four on the wall, pretty decent there. You game haters don't phase me. <laughs> oh, you left. <laughs> okay. 21 in the grass. Woo, having some trouble. Assuming that's a wall hit, assuming that's a wall hit, assuming that's a wall hit. Maybe we got some people around. But it is just... Oh my god, that's more than a wall hit. That's a wall tackle. You're a Muppet, number seven. <laughs> oh gosh, are they going to start another fight? One guy left and now we got another fight starting, baby. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a Muppet. Those guys are pretty cool. Kermit's rad. So we got lap 27. We still got wall hits, I think, and that's about it. We got some lap cars following behind me, it looks like, at this moment. Getting under the wall. So we got some wall. All right, already. Enough with the walls. Thing happening here. Side by side. Not a whole lot of nothing. Soon enough, we're going to see who uh, brought out the first caution right as I was heading to pit road on lap 50 or so. Whole lot of nothing going on. What's this then? Nothing. That's. Whoa. You can, like, turn right to get into the wall there. That was some serious Xfinity wiggles. That was advanced wiggle. Wiggle 2.0. Alright, already. I can't go too fast though, if it'll break the incidents. So. Oh, the wall takes his 7k into the exit. What did I do? Oh, tire's probably hitting 50%. I think they hit 50% on the first run. It's right about that time. Man, remember when I was in first? Good times. <sighs> Yawn! Quit hitting the walls, people! Oh, that's a little bit of something interesting. Did he hit the wall and then get loose, or did he just get loose? Looks like he turned his wheel. Oh, no. He hit the wall. <laughs> it's that fixed setup. You guys on the walls. They can really sneak up on you here, like, if your car stops turning. Oh, here's the caution. See me in the... Oops, excuse me. See me in the distance over there pitting. Just gets loose on the outside there. They're fighting for eighth. Interesting. And then he just overcorrects. Nose first in there, and that'll bring out the caution. And then it got all messed up because of, uh, I guess because I was the leader, and I was in the pits while this is all going on. That guy's sitting there, and then who knows even what's going on. Oof. What is happening? I guess we're going green, or... What is going on? So this is when we go green, despite guys being a lap down in front of the pack. There's a thousand things to look at here. So... We got like a weird checkup going on up there. We got the 15 that's gonna try to like, jump in front of guys. 
I mean, the green flag's out at this point, so... I don't know if you can even really blame the 15 all that much, but... Then we've got... I don't know why this guy's in the grass. I don't know what's happening down here. No one's, like, no one's organized. Everything's all messed up. 20's mowing the lawn. Then we got the 6. Who gets hit by the 15 running by because he actually went when it was green. That sucks, though. Like, 6 didn't do anything wrong. It was, I mean, you just, hard to even blame anybody. That was just a huge mess caused by the race control being all out of whack. That just, that really sucks. You got guys flying in, Jesus. Like, guys starting at fourth gear, and then we got massive netcode because guys are coming in 100 miles an hour faster. Oh my gosh, what a mess. And then did it even bring out a caution? All that didn't even bring out a caution, I don't think. So you got me trying to get around here. There's P2 back here. Get the lap down, guys. I guess they're trying to catch a quick caution. That's why he's kind of like blocking me. Kind of don't like that, though. Why, why you gotta do that? Okay, that guy, though, he's kind of down below. But, uh, we make it through, and then a caution comes out pretty soon here. Uh, for what, though? We will find out, I guess. 11 approaching to 17. Kind of running into the back of them a little bit. Harmless little tap there. Six still going, despite I guess getting a penalty, but he blows his engine. Did we have a caution soon after that weird start? I think we did, right? I don't remember what happened here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, this is when we had to pass. So that's 54. Then we go green right here. Okay, so no, we had a we had a run after that. Okay. I didn't remember, to be honest. We had a little bit of run after even after all that happened on that crazy restart. One's in the middle for some reason? So, what are the, th these are guys that were angry at each other. Seven's coming with a run, the one's blocking the bottom. He's got it though, and then he's just overdrives it, comes up and gets the one. I'm sure the one didn't appreciate that. I don't know why the one's in the middle of the track. But I guess the seven wasn't expecting it. The more guys hit the wall, I guess. The one just doesn't turn into the corner. What is he doing all the way up the track? Like, usually you're turning in right about here. I don't know where he plans on going. There is a turn approaching. Maybe the 7k I rating guy was going to take the high line, I don't know. And then he hits the apron. Yeah, that's some 7k I rating right there. So hit the apron, come up, and hit the 7. So if you want to be as good as him, get 7k I rating, I guess. And then the 7 looks like he's ready to dump him. Yeah, he just straight dumps in there. None of any of that was necessary by either of them, <laughs> to be honest. I don't think anybody's innocent here, to be honest. Um, obviously, that was probably the worst thing, though, with the 7 intentionally dumping him. That, that's not necessary. Um, I don't know what the 15's doing, revving it up. <laughs> Under the pacing. 
Oh, we got a loose moment. Somehow we're okay. Not okay. 15 comes and finds this guy. So, guy gets loose. And then he, he kind of comes back on track. Oh my gosh. And then the 23 trying to avoid him comes slams the wall. Everybody's just stuck. Right. There's some messy stuff going on here. We're getting loose. Oh, that sucks. So it looks like the four just gets loose. And when he corrects it, he lost so much speed that the 15 is there. That, that stings. I don't think... I mean, it's kind of on the four to get for getting loose in the first place, but... I mean, you can see the 15. Like, he's just trying to go up there, and it, it just sucks because the four got loose. It's on the four, but... Nothing was intentional there, or aggressive, it was just a mistake. Unfortunately, some guys get all tangled up in it. Where did the Top 10? After that? Oh gosh, that means we're going to continue seeing some more. All these cautions made me lose the race, though. Oh jeez, this is something they were yelling about. Okay, so, 17's the lucky dog. He's saying, uh, 17, got the lucky dog, let him buy on the outside. And so he starts going. So here's the thing. He's going. You can kind of see he's kind of like not completely out of the way. Like you don't need to be in a hurry. Does the 21 need to get out of the way? Yes. Do you need to risk going that fast, going 111 when he's going 52? When there's no reason to be in a hurry? No. So, yeah, 21 gets needs to get out of the way, but I don't think the 17 needed to fly by that soon. I mean, he tries to get on the brakes. Maybe he just assumed. Let's let's see it from his cockpit. Maybe he couldn't see him. All right, he's ready to go. You know what? That's all I was running on. I'm just, I'm looking from his this guy's perspective. Let him by on the outside. All right, coming by. Yeah, I mean, he could have been slower through there, but 21's got to get out of the way. <laughs> That's just a sucky situation. And then the 7 gets in it, too. Gosh, I am lucky that I did not find my way into any of that nonsense. What a mess. Something's happening during pace laps here. I guess someone was supposed to be behind someone. I guess someone around him. And lap 84. That's just some wall. What is happening? Where is the 21 going? Oh, okay, he was crashing. Interesting. The 20 is off the bottom line there, but the 21's coming down a little bit too far, maybe. Oh, no, the 20's got to be low. I think it's more than a 20 than anything, but 21 gets sideways. He needs to turn the wheel left a little bit more than that. He can't just come back on the surface like this, right into traffic. Just a little bit of tap there, though. That really wasn't all that bad. Frustrating, but... Oh, God. <laughs> now he gets rear-ended a million years later. Yeah, he's not paying attention behind him or something. Because he's obviously off pace here, and I think the... 19 is just trying to get through. He's way off pace. There's no reason he needs to be in the driving lane. 30 miles an hour off pace. Ooh, blown engine. So the 
three has got the bottom line here. Oh, the one blows its engine. I didn't even know that happened. I finished on the lead lap with the one engine. I guess it was just close enough to the end that he just limped it around. <laughs> that stinks. He's had a rough one, but also not entirely blameless either. Then guy's trying to get around him on the outside. I don't think he needs to be on the racing line with a blown engine either, although I guess he maybe didn't have a choice. He had guys flying around him for a long time. You know, he had time to... I don't know, man. It's tough to say. Because I would say get on the apron, but there is no apron once you're coming down here. And obviously he's trying to make it to the end with the blown engine. <laughs> what a mess this race was. Haunted Race 2, the sequel, I guess. I don't know. And then 5. Darn you, 5 and fresh tires. Yeah, take that. <laughs> He, uh, he got it fair and square. He made the right call taking tires at the end. But like I said, if I pit, then maybe no one else pits. And then how am I passing 20 people with, what, 10 laps to go or something? I don't know. I still pull it into P2, so I'll take it. And it looks like that'll bring us a 28-hour uh, rating game as the number two. So that'll do it. Congrats to the five. He uh, made the right call. Um, survived the second haunted race of the week for me after, or no, I guess it was last week was Myrtle Beach, but second haunted race this month for me, I guess. <laughs> but uh, that'll do it here. Hope you enjoyed. I always enjoy some Texas and uh, I will see you next time. Have a good one.